Good evening, gentlemen. I'd like to talk to you today about the power projection of the Navy. And if you remember, during the Second World War, when Admiral Naguma was commanding the Japanese fleet, they set sail for the Indian Ocean just before the attack on Pearl Harbor. And the idea was domination of the Indian Ocean and the Bay of Bengal. And this massive fleet of the Japanese came right up to Sri Lanka, in those days called Ceylon. And the British Navy, which was supposed to face them, were so frightened that all the ships escaped to Africa. That's a known fact. Well, gentlemen, that is called domination of the ocean. And from 1947 onwards, India was not doing this at all. We had very a different breed of prime ministers, you know, starting from Pandit Nehru downwards to Narasimha Rao and Sardar uh, Manmohan Singh. You know, they were not interested in power projection of India. But with the advent of Narendra Modi and the new security advisor, you know, national advisor, Mr. Ajit Doval, things have changed and India is going in for domination of the sea power now. And we have an excellent news, I have to tell you, that two of India's most formidable warships, the Vikram Ditya and the INS Vikrant, two aircraft carriers have joined a massive flotilla of warships for an exercise in the Arabian Sea. Now, let me tell you that the Vikrant is the namesake of the first aircraft carrier which India had, which took part in the operations in the 1965 war and also in the 71 war. It's been scrapped, but it's been resucted from oblivion and given a new name and now it's an indigenously made aircraft carrier made at the Cochin shipyard. It's a 45,000 ton ship and we also have the Vikramaditya, you know, named after the famous Hindu warrior king who ruled from Ujjain and this aircraft carrier carries about 35 aircraft including the MiG-29. So gentlemen, both these aircraft carriers move with groups. That means there are submarines, there are frigates and other warships which move along with this flotilla. It's a massive flotilla and a domination exercise which has been conducted by the Indian Navy just a few days back. And the message is very clear. The naval warships reached right up to the coast of the sea line, rather the sea line of Pakistan, the maritime boundary, they reached it and they were outside and there was tremendous concentration in Pakistan and they are wondering what's happening, I mean how, how these warships are coming. It's a lesson to Pakistan that you continue doing activities in Kashmir by sending terrorists and all that and India is going to react in a different way and if India reacts, the Karachi port will be blockaded. 70% of all Pakistan imports come from this port and the next result is going to be that there's going to be hunger in Pakistan. So gentlemen, it's a great power projection and I thought I'll tell you about this. It's something which all Indians should be proud of. And we must thank the Mandar in the Modi government, you know, for bringing this about. I don't remember ever reading or hearing anything like this in the 75 years of India's history. Never heard of it. Now, this carrier group, this is called a carrier group, there are two carrier groups which operated in the Arabian Sea and it's a power projection and China couldn't do a thing about it because China doesn't have a strength here and the Pakistan Navy has got no match at all and they were all sitting in their ports inside Karachi and Gordon and just probably having some meat and biryani and all that. That's about all they could do. They couldn't do anything. So, gentlemen, India is moving forward and we are heading for the 24 election. Let's hope Mr. Modi wins. So that the power projection continues. I close now and say goodbye to you all. In the meanwhile, bear in mind that these aircraft carriers are very formidable. Of course, they're not a match to the American carriers. We weigh 100,000 tons like the Eisenhower. No. But in their own way, they are enough to project Indian power in the Arabian Sea and the Indian Ocean. Gentlemen, goodbye. I close now and say Jai Hind. Glory to India. Do subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends and come back for more. God bless.